Hey, what is going on guys, and welcome to a tutorial that has been, I think, long awaited. A couple of people asked for it at least. And that is the tutorial on how to create the uh, the display I've been using. For not just a computer, but also in the upcoming word processor. You can see the construction over there. Now, uh, this one is very, very similar to my old one. It's a tiny bit smaller, so it's not... Um, is not really cutting edge, but uh, it's still very simple to learn. It is um, it is not too slow, and uh, yeah, it it just works. It gets the job done, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. Not just um, not just for word processing. So I have a single pixel here. the uh, The entire displays are divided into, um, or how should I say this? The screen is divided, in, of course, into many uh, many displays, and displays themselves have, of course, uh, pixels, which are two by two, and those themselves are built separately, and then I just stack them, because the way these are working is that they just simply stack on, um, of course, on the width and uh, on the height. And on the height, you can't stack it forever because of uh, of these. I'll get into that later. But on the way that you can stack them forever, pretty much. So, um, so let's, yeah, let's get started with this one. Now, as you can see here, I have uh, divided this one into a couple of colors, and that is because all of these have, um, they make, they are basically different components in the same construction. So we can start off by the start here. We have the input. We can have a. Uh, you can have some busing going up here, you can have a button here, you can have uh, pretty much whatever you want. But uh, we have the the blue part here, it's basically the first input. It's two torches with, um, with the on wire here going uh, right next to the... Uh, this is like a switch or a circuit breaker or whatever. It basically is gonna stop this one from uh, sending anything if, it, uh, if it's not supposed to. Then it goes over to this, which is basically the memory. When this one turns on, this torch is going to be disabled. I'm going to allow this one to be enabled, and it's just going to swap around. And when that happens, this one will be turned on. It's going to send through to this, which is basically just the output. And it goes through to uh, the torch over here, which can enable the display. This part here these glowstone parts and yellow wool is just a reset. This one can be stacked on the height up until these turn uh, to... Uh, of course the wire is not going to be able to be uh, stacked forever because of the 15 blocks limit. But uh, of course you can have... Um, I have seven of these, that's pretty much max. And it's basically just going to just gonna reset the entire display or the this pixel in this case when uh, when the signal gets sent through here. So that is the th just some basic overview how it works. So let's get through building one, shall we? Let's start off with just, um, let's see, do I want, no, nah, just whatever. Just to start off with uh, with a button, some wire going through, then we come to the, we come to the first block here. We need a torch, two wires, another torch. And while we add it, we can place another block here. Actually, I'm gonna use some uh, some colored wool here, so making things easier. Now we need a repeater here. We can place some glowstone here, because this thing is gonna keep stacking up. Now we need um, we need to place a repeater into a block. And we have the torch on this side, and the torch on the other side. It's gonna look like this. Put a repeater from each one of these going into the other. We're gonna have this one going out. Let me see how it was. Need just one uh, one wire, then two repeaters into another wire. And meanwhile, here we will have the reset. Pretty much just like this. I think if you put it like this, it's just gonna keep stacking. I don't know how it did it here. Of course, it's gonna be a wire here, but I don't have it, uh, have it like this. 
Yeah, you can just when you stack it, you want it to um, you want the wire, of course, to be there as well. So when, next time when we stack this one, this one is gonna come up here like that. Then this one goes out into a block with two torches. We want one wire. No wait, one repeater going out here, one wire, and then another repeater into two blocks with two torches with uh, with the redstone lamps in front and two blocks above. So that is pretty much it. So now when we press the button, we can go through. This one is going to be disabled. It's going to allow this one to be enabled. Send a signal through, disable this one, allow this one to be enabled and it's gonna keep stay enabled because it disables this one then it continues through the re-output gonna enable these two torches and the pixel is gonna light up now we want to disable it have to be one down here it's gonna go out to another part later just put a button here it's gonna go through to this one now which is gonna disable the pixel so when you have a bunch of these you can just keep stacking them and then um, when you have that you can put uh, the reset and the uh, circuit breaker I'm gonna put those together here I have just one of the displays is 5 by 7 if we walk to the to the bottom of it we have uh, this is the resets they're hooked up together we have the circuit breaker, they're also hooked up together. Don't need that one. And uh, basically how uh, the display is working, we have a whole ton of these, is that when we send uh, when we send a character through, the character just gets sent through the wiring over here, it goes to each and every single one of the displays, which means that if you want to make sure that the character goes to the display you want it to go to, you need one of these, or uh, a whole bunch of these. These are shift registers. I'm not gonna go through how to build these. If you want to find out how to build these, you can look it up on YouTube. There are a whole other, whole ton of other tutorials on how to build these. But uh, the shift registers is basically just a memory that um, when it enters, a, when it gets a signal down through here, it's gonna shift this wire, or it's gonna shift it like. Basically this one, since it is, uh, right now it's currently enabled, we can go by these torches, it's enabled. It has uh, a torch going out there into the next one. When we enter a signal down here, this one is gonna shift over to this one. So let's do that, send a signal through this one, which was previously on. Now shifts over to this one. And since this one is hooked up over here to this display, now you can see this was previously enabled, and this is basically I'm gonna allow um, and I'll allow these to be uh, disabled and send a si signal through to the display. And it also does enable. Gonna enable this. Uh, this is just a little clock here. You can see these repeaters just send back and forth, back and forth, and basically it, uh, it makes for this indicator thingy down bottom. So let's see, I'm not sure if I forgot anything, but that is pretty much just is a brief overview. If you um, if you look through it properly, you maybe pause somewhere, you can build it yourself and you can make it work. So um, yeah, I'm not sure what else is there to say. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Bye.